Thank you for your time. As you know, a Democratic presidential candidate has not won in North Carolina since Obama. Yeah. Right now, looking at the early voting numbers, Republicans are outpacing Democrats. Are you behind? Yeah, no, well, we knew this race was going to be close. The momentum's on our side. I think we've seen the contrast in uh, last night and uh, the vice president's uh, new way forward, a speech going forward, and we've seen Donald Trump kind of end and uh, look backwards. So uh, we know that what's important is what I was just doing is getting our folks to the door. We got a better ground game. We got better organization on the ground. We've got more folks out there. We've got more offices. And now this is all about getting folks to the polls uh, by next Tuesday. So we're confident we're going to win North Carolina. But are you concerned at all about these early voting numbers in no, this state? No, the folks can vote earlier. They can vote on Election Day. They all matter at the end of the day. And if he's, there's more folks voting right now, good for them. But we're going to get everybody to the polls. The black vote is also crucially important, I believe, to your campaign. It is also down in the early voting numbers by about 200,000 from the same point in time in 2020. What is not sticking with that community when it comes to your campaign? Well, it is, and all votes matter. What I think uh, right now is, is folks have a little bit of fatigue because of Donald Trump hoping to kind of suppress these votes. Look, you can feel the energy. We know things are turning. We're seeing that happening. We're seeing the numbers coming out. Um, and the only thing that matters to us is making sure by Election Day we got the folks to the polls. Can you in this campaign win without North Carolina? Uh, we want to win North Carolina. We'll win across. We've got multiple paths to this. We've got multiple paths across the country. We've got states that are in play in each one of those states. Uh, the momentum is on our side. So we want to win every vote we can in every state. I want to turn to the economy. Yeah. It's a big talking point on this campaign and to yeah. the people of North Carolina. Why do more people, more Americans, trust Mr. Trump over Mrs. Harris when it comes to handling the economy? Well, that number's closed significantly. Today's numbers on the 2.8 percent GDP growth, where we're seeing uh, things are moving in the right directions, we're seeing gas prices across the country come down. But look, this is something the vice president's talked about, uh, real concrete plans to deal with this, concrete plans to make sure middle class sees the tax cuts, that, ta that prices come down in the grocery store. And I think at this point in time, they're still getting to know the vice president. We've got six days to continue to make the case. A lot of folks don't make up their mind. Don't get into that voting booth until next Tuesday. We'll get there. I want to ask one final question. Did the president's garbage comments that he made, did it damage this campaign? No, he clarified what he was saying. He was very clear about that. What mattered last night was the vice president's positive vision of going to America, you know, to all Americans, being a president for all Americans, and that that's where we're at. So, no, certainly not. I think what, what did damage it is what Donald Trump has been saying in terms of denigrating uh, you know, our fellow citizens across the country. So, no, we're out there with a positive message. We'll make the case, and we'll close this thing out positive. Governor Walz, I appreciate it. I promised five minutes. I know you're a busy Thanks, guy. Hunter. Thank you.